Uh, so several weeks later, <laughs> I swear, uh, I'm slow as steady gets the race on this woodworking stuff. Anyway, I uh, finally got the final glue up. I'm pretty tickled about it. It, uh, I put it over here because I actually want to let it sit for a few days. Uh, those those angles are something else. So, so I've already kind of put some wood putty down too because I am going to do it. So I hit it with one good light sanding. I decided not to flute the legs. I don't know. The legs are a little plain, but I did kick them out. But I, I don't know. I kind of like the fact that they're a little plain. I've got the molding on the apron there that looks nice. Uh, I don't know. I, I got I got looking at it and just decided I didn't want to flute the uh, flute the legs, so just left it as is. Uh, anyway, the the angles uh, were pretty rough. I actually uh, it's actually taken two of us to put this thing together, even on a dry fit. And uh, I brought it over here, cleaned out the corner because I wanted it to glue here. Uh, anyway, I brought it over here, cleaned out the corner, and. I uh, did a dry fit all by myself. It was really easy. <laughs> it really was. I put this in. I started with the top. I put the top in. Laid this down. Put it in. Put this side over in. Rocked it in. It was good. And then I put the bottoms in. And that was awesome. So I took it apart and then tried to glue it and had an absolute fit. This one here just would not uh, adhese to the, <laughs> to, to the top rail here. So Cheryl came out and helped me a little bit on it so that was nice and so I was able to get this all up this is actually how it's how it will actually sit uh, in the you know in my living room right there'll be a, that tabletop over there whenever I get done with it we'll be sitting on top of this this is going to be painted black uh, I keep talking about the milk paint it's right there uh, I got my sprayer down there so it's the first time I'm going to try to spray something uh, but anyway so just kind of happy with uh, getting it done. Get a little place here to put stuff and little dowels so that they, uh, you know, the, it's easy to clean off. Uh, shelves collect dust, so dowels let the stuff fall to the ground. Uh, I did one ahead and last night, even though I glued these in. Uh, this is the only nails in the whole thing, by the way. Uh, is the uh, I went ahead and put brads in. Uh, the end of each dowel and only because you know I, I'd like this to last for forever and I assume little kids and stuff will be crawling around in there and oh my wife she'll have all sorts of stuff stacked in it and, and everything so I needed them to be pretty sturdy dowels have a tendency to contract and expand and contract and expand if you have ever had chairs with dowels uh, supports and the legs and stuff you know what I'm talking about they, they, they tend to work themselves out so between the wood glue and the brads they should hold for a very very long time so pretty happy about that uh, I also did three quarter inch dowels so they are good and stout it, it's gonna take something to break one of those um, of course the whole thing has to be good and stout it's got to hold the 60 pound table <laughs> tabletop but anyway uh, pretty nice I did do the I did cut the little hole in the top that will actually correspond with the hole there and then that way when you look at you know when you look at it you just don't see the board going across you'll actually see kind of a weird neat I don't know we'll have to see what it looks like but kind of a neat little hole you know as you, if you kind of look in from an angle but if you're kind of looking across the top you won't you won't actually see it so that, that's that, that I thought that was okay uh, anyway so the next step on this is to I'm kind of sitting out here uh, by the way uh, that's you know, that's not poo that's wood filler <laughs> so I already did a little bit of wood filler uh, just kind of fill in some of the cracks uh, I'm pretty sure I'll have to do one more hand sand and probably a little bit more wood filler and then uh, one more hand sand and then I'll probably paint. That's why I was saying I'll probably be a little while before I actually painted. I'd like to get it painted this week. Uh, but I don't know. I'm, I'm a few days off the table. So anyway, that part's done. Base is done. Uh, the only thing left to do is to put the hardware in. I got the hardware in to hold the table. 
So I already got the little inserts set in. Uh, those actually aren't screws. There's actually little inserts inside the wood. Those are screws inside the inserts. Uh, but there's little inserts inside there, uh, so that's kind of nice. So that'll make it easy to take take apart and move and whatever we got to do. And I've got my little legs over here, and they will be kind of the last part. They actually are going to fit up inside there. I already got the holes drilled and everything. I'll have to put some little screws in there or whatever. But this is basically so that you can level it, right? So that's kind of why I wanted them uh, cuz my floor is not level in the least and so that will allow, allow somebody to uh, level the table if they want I just knock my box fan over anyway so so you gotta put those in uh, those will be done after I paint so uh, and then I already got the hardware in, so I made sure I put the screws in so I didn't fill the holes, the little insert holes full of heart, uh, paint. So, and they, the inserts, look like that. So there's a little insert behind each one of those screws. It's screwed and glued in the wood. And then it has the little threads inside of it so that the, the screw can actually screw in it. So that'll make it really sturdy. Uh, when it holds the top. Anyway, a lot of work, uh, absolute butt ton of work. So there you go.